the machete, your first choice for trail building in the jungle, your seventh choice for the zombie apocalypse. So basically, yeah, it's always green, it's always growing. You need to make a way as you're exploring, and this is what does it. Locally, they're called parongs, and they're one of the oldest known tools of this region because of that very reason, having to get through the jungle. So these things are awesome for clearing trail, clearing brush, cutting grass, all that sort of stuff as you're exploring and making your way in the jungle. They're really handy for maintenance as well. The trick to these is keep them sharp and then make sure you get one that's got a weight that is appropriate for the things you're cutting. So I had another one that was too heavy and so I found that when I was cutting through easy stuff, I'm like overextending my arm and it just, you're getting a lot of strain on your elbow. This Gerber uh, machete is really light which I didn't like at first, but then uh, I made sure to keep it sharp. And then I always kind of cut at a 45. Otherwise, if you're hitting a vine and you come straight at it, it's just gonna bounce off. Um, and the smaller stuff, same. You come at a 45, you don't wanna come steeper than that because you'll bounce off and you could, I've whacked myself in the shin with one of these because of that. So you just kinda like, Pay attention to what you're doing and come at it at the right angle. But yeah, absolutely vital for this kind of stuff. Um, this trail coming back up there, I cleared this all with this and then dug a little bit of the roots out, but mainly 100% of that clearing was this. I use it a lot and um, if I ever see poisonous snakes or zombies out here, I'll be reaching for this thing.